Hey there, uh, I'm Andrew and I'm going to teach you how to print a booklet, or at least the front cover of the booklet, and a back um, a section of the CD that folds up here to display the, the name. I have several CDs um, that are missing the, the booklet and the back cover, but I still have the CD, uh, mainly because I had these CDs for years and back in the 90s. You know, we'd put 100 CDs or 50 CDs in a case and bring them in your car. Um, well, that's now that I'm restoring my CDs, I've noticed that there's a lot of missing uh, booklets and back covers, but I still have the CDs. So I decided to do some trial and error to learn how to print these things um, and get the best quality at a low price with using free software off the Internet. So I'm going to have you download some free software and teach you the sizes and how to print um, these CDs you can print at home. But I prefer to use FedEx Office because um, it has just a better quality of print and there's a there's a, a good paper there that you can use as well. So I uh, hope this helps uh, in your restore, restoring of your collection of CDs. Okay, so first things first, we need to find some good quality pictures that we want. We want the front cover picture, we want the back cover picture. Uh, you can do a Google search and maybe you can find something, but I think the best thing to do is look up discogs.com. And in there, uh, we just go in the search bar, as I'm doing here, and type in, in Beastie Boys Paul's Boutique. Um, you'll have several um, things uh, pop up, options, uh, we want the CD, uh, but you can have vinyl, you can have tapes. And in there, uh, you click on more images just underneath the image, and below will display all the images for that CD. Uh, looks like this uh, CD cover is well detailed. It's a quality picture, so we are going to save it to our desktop. So I right-clicked, and we will save. Um, I like to save right to the desktop top instead of the folder. So uh, down in the file name, I'm just going to put BB for Beastie Boys and PB for Paul's Boutique. And I'm going to put in front cover FC and save it as a JPEG to the desktop. Um, next, we're going to click on the next picture, which is the back cover. And as you can see on both sides, it says Beastie Boys, and that is the proper display. So I will also save that to the desktop, and I will type in BB, Beastie Boys, Pulp's Boutique, and I will put BC for back cover and save it as a JPEG onto the desktop. So now I have the front cover and the back cover saved to the desktop. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up paint.net. Now, paint.net is not a website. It's actually the name of the program. You can download paint.net for free. Just do a search and type in download and uh, download the software and put it on your computer. We're going to take this layers box. So we're going to put it down because we're not going to use the layers or the colors. We're basically just going to grab the picture and drop it into the center there. Now, we're going to open up the file. And now we're going to go into that toolbar and we're going to select the rectangle and we're going to highlight the entire picture because what we're going to do is we're just going to resize it. Uh, we're going to go to image and then we're going to go to resize and uh, we're not going to worry about the pixels. We're just going to go down to the width and the height and the height and the width for a front cover is 4.7 inches. Um, Depending on the case, it could be a little thicker, but 4.7 seems to work really well. So now we have just resized our picture, and we are going to save it to the desktop. Now, I'm still going to have the BB, you know, Paul's Boutique uh, front cover. I'm just going to put a 2 behind there and save it as a JPEG. So now I know that this is the correct size. Uh, we're going to hit the OK there, and it's, now we're going to have the correct size of the image. Um, we're going to X out that image at the top there at paint.net. So we're going to drop a new image in. And now this is the back cover. So we're going to do the same thing, rectangle select. We're going to highlight the entire picture area. 
and then we're going to uh, resize the image and this time it's going to be a width of 5.95 and a height of 4.65 it's just a little smaller on the back um, cd case i'm not sure why but it is so uh, we're just going to make it just a touch smaller and we're going to save that also um, as uh, the same thing except we're going to put a two behind there paul's boutique uh, back cover number two and we're going to save that image and there it is it popped up as the correct size image so now we know that the twos are the correct size image and the regular ones are not so we're going to take those original pictures we're going to throw them in the trash and now we have the correct size images now we just simply open up our word document and we're going to take these two images that we have uh, first, we're going to um, open up the margins. We're going to make the margins a little wider. So we're going to grab that margin. We're going to pull it up a little bit. And then we're going to pull the bottom margin down a little bit in our Word, our Microsoft Word. And then we're going to take the front cover and we're going to drop it in there. And as you can see, from 0 to 4.7, it drops in there perfectly. Uh, that is the perfect size of that front cover. And uh, we don't have to do any grabbing or stretching of that image. It is all ready to go. Uh, we're going to make that cursor go underneath the top image. There we go. And we're going to drop in the second image. And as yes, you can see, that it is almost 6 inches. 5.95 uh, is what we want for the width. So that is also perfect. We're going to save that image um, into a PDF file. So we're going to save it to the desktop. And it's going to be a PDF file this time instead of a JPEG. And then we're going to type in uh, the, the initials. I'm going to do Beastie Boys, Paul's Boutique. And we're going to put PDF. That is going to save to the desktop. And now that we have saved it, it should pop in. There it goes. It popped in right underneath the uh, Express icon there. So now we have a PDF. What do we do? We take that PDF. And we're going to save it to our thumb drive because we're going to take a trip to FedEx office. Now, I prefer FedEx office rather than printing at home. I think there's a big difference between the quality of the print uh, between like a Lexmark or an HP that you have at your house and those uh, very expensive printers in, at FedEx office. So I will pay the 74 cents that it costs to print it. Um, and I do prefer the high gloss paper. So now we're going to head into FedEx office here. And right to the left, we are going to see some people working on the uh, printers. And this uh, large printer, and right behind there, we have the, the um, cutter too. I don't know what the proper term is, graph cutter or whatever it's called. Uh, we take our USB and we slide it in. Um, and now we can select our... Beastie Boys file, and we can hit next, and we are going to start to print it. <clears throat> um, I already asked the attendant um, behind the counter to give me some high gloss paper. It does cost 30 cents more for the high gloss. Um, you can print it on regular paper there, and it actually does a pretty good job. I just prefer that shine of the high gloss. So um, the high gloss paper has uh, been added to the right there. There's the uh, attendant helping me. Um, she's making sure that that paper went in and there it goes. So now we are printing the front cover and the back cover um, for 74 cents on their um, excellent printers um, that are easy to use at FedEx office. And there you go. Look at that shine. I, I just enjoy that. I enjoy a nice quality print like that. It makes it look just as good as any other CD that I have here. Um, now we're going to, you can print the receipt right there. That doesn't cost anything. Uh, you hit the print the receipt button and now you have a receipt for all your prints that you have. And it just simply comes out the same, um, shoot that the other one did. So now we take that graph cutter machine. I'm probably saying that wrong, but that's what I call it. And, uh, it's, it, this machine, um, can create a very nice straight, evenly sliced cut and I really enjoy that too rather than 
using your scissors at home, which can be a little choppy or kind of go a little haywire. Maybe your scissors is dull and kind of makes your paper frayed. This gives it a nice, fine edge um, to your cut. And um, I, I just, again, the, the tools there is just worth the $0.74 cents, um, to make your CD case look as professional as possible. So I'll do another slice here, and then I will show you the <clears throat> finished product after all the slices. So there we go. We have the two cut front covers and back covers and look at that nice cut right there it's just perfect um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to um, take that uh, cd holder from the back cover case and we're just going to pop it out just take your thumb and you just kind of pull down on your right hand on that thumb and the and the insert just pops right out of there so i already bent the corners there so the beastie boys Paul's Boutique will display properly. And as we pop that insert back in there, um, it'll kind of straighten out that Beastie Boys um, display. So you can easily read your CDs from the side like that. And then, of course, we take our front uh, cover and we put it in. All right. So we do have our CD cover case restored. We have the front cover, Beastie Boys. And we have the back cover here, and you can also see Beastie Boys, Paul's Boutique displayed there properly on either side. So um, I do like uh, the shine finish on the on the actual case. And, you know, when you open it up here, uh, you do have the white on the inside, and so it's not a true booklet, but... Either way, it looks good. Looks like I have some cleaning to do on the CD itself. Uh, there's some scratches. Maybe I'll make a video on how to take those scratches out and clean up the CD with some polish and Windex. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, feel free to throw them in the comments.